So continuing with our topic of electron configuration, now we're going to look at a third type of notation, which is noble gas notation. And first of all, we have to make a little introduction. A noble gas is called a noble gas because there are gases or elements that do not want to combine. They're by nature um, electrically stable, so they don't want to get any more uh, electrons in their outermost shell. So if we remember what these are, and if not, you can consult them from your very own periodic table. They are starting with the highest one, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. So we have six of them, okay? Now, if we look for their atomic numbers, respectively, their atomic numbers are 2, 10, 18, 36, 54, and if my mind serves me right, the next one should be 86. Let's see if this works out. So if we begin our electron configuration, helium has two electrons, so its configuration is 1s2. Since its highest energy level is 1, and this is its highest shell, and S can only hold two, it's a noble gas because it's not looking for any more electrons to complete its shell in its highest energy level. Neon is 10, 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 6, and we have our 10 electrons. So again, what's going to happen here? It doesn't want any more electrons in its highest energy level, which is 2. It already has a total of 8 electrons. So with the exception of helium, these five noble gases are going to want to complete that octet, completing the octet rule, of eight electrons in its outermost shell. How do we know it's the outermost shell? Because it's the one with the highest main level or shell number, right? So if we continue filling out this, we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, we have 10 electrons, and then we would continue with 3s2, and that's 12, and we continue with 3p6 for a total of 18. And once again, we have the highest shell with 8 electrons. And I'm going to make that a little bit more evident. I'm going to use these other markers that I have here so that this is very evident. My highest shell is 1 for helium, and I have 2 electrons. S can only hold 2. We're complete. We're full. Next, our highest shell is 2. And in this shell, we have two from S, six from the p orbital, and we're complete to complete eight electrons in the outermost shell, but a total of ten. Two electrons, four electrons, ten electrons, twelve electrons, eighteen electrons, highest shell is three, and we have eight electrons again. So you're going to start to notice a little trend here of what's going on with noble gases, right? Noble gases always end in a P6 orbital. So let's try that. So we copy this. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. And we know we have 18 electrons right there. My next level is 4s, 4s2. My next level is 3d, 3d10. So 18 that we had plus 12 is 30, 4p6 gives us 36, and once again, what is my highest energy level? Number 4, number 4, and we have 2 electrons on the S, 6 electrons on P, giving us a total of 8. So we can safely assume that xenon and radon, respectively, are going to end in the same circumstances. 5s2, just at a higher level, 4d10 and 5p6 and what happens if I add 36 and 18 which are these we get 54 last but not least if we continue on to the next level after 5p it's 6s with 2 then we have 4f with 14 and last but not least 5d with 10 and finally 6p6 so once again if I add 54 plus all these electrons that I accumulated from this, which are roughly, um, let's see, six, uh, we're going to have 32 more electrons, we get 86. So 
we're all good. Highest energy level is level six. And we have eight electrons. So all of these noble gases complete the octet rule. Now, how is noble gas uh, interpretation, uh, how is the configuration of the noble gas then interpreted to serve us to abbreviate other electronic configurations? It's very simple. We know that these are cutoff points, and if we looked at a periodic table, this would be at the rightmost group, which is family uh, 8A or family 18, which is noble gases, and they all end in P6 with the exception of helium, which is S2. But other than that, we know the atomic number, which is 2, 10, 18, 36, 54, 86 from the uh, periodic table. How does this translate into noble gas notation? Here what we're going to do is we're going to take an element such as, and again I'm going to write the title right here, noble gases, noble gas notation, and I'm going to draw a little cheat sheet. Remember, in order, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, with their respective atomic number, which is 2, 10, 18, 36, 54, 86. It's in your best interest to know these by memory because they will help you. Next, what should we do? Let's take a quick example. Let's do iron. Iron, its chemical symbol is Fe, and its atomic number is 26. So the basic instruction for this is we have to look for a lower number of electrons and we will use that as the abbreviation. So two is less than 26, yes, but we can still go a bit higher up. 10 is lower than 26, but we can still go higher up. 18 is lower than 26, so we could use this one. Let's try to go higher up. Krypton is 36, hmm, but Krypton is higher, so we can't use Krypton. We have to use the previous noble gas, which is argon, we put it between parentheses, and even though this is not customary, I would do it just as a little reminder so that we remember. And we are we already have 18 electrons if we abbreviate with argon. So 18, and we still have eight more electrons to go, because remember we're counting electrons. So now here's another beautiful trick. Remember, helium ends in 1s2. Neon is 2p6, 3p6, argon, krypton, 4p6. So we can use a little trick right here. This is period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we know that argon ended in configuration 3p6 to complete those 18 electrons like we're showing right here. So what is the next orbital after 3p6? 4s2. So we continue, 4s2, 20 electrons, and we're still missing 6 electrons to fill out, so after 4s we have 3d, 3d can hold a maximum of 10, but we only need 6, so our abbreviated configuration is argon, 4s2, 3d6, which gives us a total of 26 electrons. Now just a little quick recap so that we can prove that this is right, we're going to draw the full notation which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. And we're going to add these numbers. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 6 is 26 electrons. And what we did basically right here is all of this notation, which is argon's notation, that we have right here, we simply abbreviate it as argon, and then we draw or we write the rest 4s2, 3d6. And we did the abbreviation. This is noble gas notation. Let's do another example. Let's try silver. Silver's atomic number, I believe, is 47. So silver is 47. And we check at the same time over here. So 47, 
36, but it's lower than 54. So we use a previous one. And what we can do is right off the bat abbreviate this into Krypton. We know Krypton has 36. Krypton ended in 4P6 because it's in period 4. Krypton, I'm double checking, 4P6. After 4P, we have 5S with two electrons. And after 5S, we have 4D. And I think we should be able to recognize what's going on here. So 36 plus 2 is 38. And I'm still missing 9 electrons. So D can hold 10. So it can definitely hold 9. So this is my last configuration. And again, instead of writing all the uh, electron configuration for Krypton, which is all of these different orbitals, and then adding this, this is my... Uh, noble gas notation. One final example, maybe with a simpler element. Let's try magnesium. Magnesium has an atomic number of 12. So it's going to be higher than neon but lower than argon. So we use neon again. And here we're going to write neon. And we know neon has 10 electrons already. So we're really missing two. Neon is from period 2, so our next s orbital is going to be 3s. We double check. Neon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 2p6. Next orbital is 3s. 3s can hold 2 electrons, and since I need 2 electrons, I just write it down here, and this is an abbreviation. Okay? So, noble gas notation is the advantage that we know exactly the cutoff points for the noble gases. And what do we do? We take that basis and then we continue. Helium ends in 1s, so the next orbital is 2s. Neon ends in 2p6, so the next orbital is 3s. Argon ends in 3p, so our next orbital is 4s. Krypton ends in 4p6, so our next orbital is 5s, and so forth. So it's really a question of doing some exercises and trying this at home by yourself.